Hello, we're here at the American College of Rheumatology annual meeting in Washington, D.C. in 2016. I'm here with Dr. Susan Bartlett. Dr. Bartlett, tell us about some of the work you're presenting here. So one of the things I'm really excited about that we're talking about today is fatigue. We know that fatigue is incredibly common in RA. 97% of people who live with RA talk about fatigue as a day-to-day -day experience, and two-thirds talk about severe fatigue, and that severe fatigue prevents them from doing a lot of the things that they really want to do. What is fatigue? Well, you know, one of the more important questions is what's contributing to this fatigue? And we had kind of assumed that if we can control your RA and we get that under good control, we'll take care of the fatigue. And what we've seen is that the fatigue still persists in a lot of people in whom the disease is still well controlled. So we looked to see what might be behind that. We had information about their RA. And we had information about the pain they were experiencing every day. And those are important contributors to fatigue. But we also had information about mood. And beyond depression, we looked at anxiety. And this is one of the first times we've looked at anxiety in our patients. What we found was that pain and anxiety were two of the most important predictors of fatigue. So the higher your pain and the higher your level of worrying, the more likely you were to feel exhausted. Can we help patients learn to manage their anxiety? Absolutely. I mean, as a psychologist, we've spent many years refining the stress management techniques that can really make a difference. And, and really, in a few short weeks or a few short sessions, uh, one can learn to do something about their fatigue and bring it under great control. There, there are programs available online. There are community programs. Stress management, anything that's talking to you about stress management is really going to help you learn how to gain control over your worry and stop letting that worry pervade every minute of your day. Well, thank you for the important work you're doing. All the best to you.